Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slim Hacks and today I'm going to show you on how you could download Flappy Bird. As many as you know, um, Flappy Bird has been removed out of the App Store like almost a month now. And currently this is March 2014. And many of you have this other app that's similar to Flappy Bird called Splashy Fish. Right there, there's Splashy Fish. And this is Flappy Bird. I got this iPod today. I bought it. And uh, and when I log into my iCloud and my my Apple credentials, I was just re-downloading the apps from from my other iPhone, which was this one. And I went to my purchases, and I found Flappy Bird still saved on my iCloud, so I downloaded it. And the apps actually downloaded into my iPod, and and um and that and the app has been removed since almost a month ago. So I'm just gonna prove to you that it actually works. See. So yeah, today I'm going to show you on how to, how you could do it, how you could install a Flappy Bird into another device such as this one. This one does not have a Flappy Bird, like I said, it has Splashy Fish, and um, and you are only gonna you're gonna be required to have two things. You're gonna need to you're gonna need to have an iCloud account that has downloaded Flappy Bird before, meaning uh, before it got removed out of the App Store, and I'm 100% sure that uh you have like hundreds of friends that has that has Flappy Bird right now and they'll kindly be nice enough of to uh, give you give their iCloud credentials to you or if they don't give them to you by email or Facebook or whatever you can just go up to them go to their house like hey can I use your iCloud account and if they ask for ask for what just tell them like oh my friend PSP Slimhacks found a way to download Flappy Bird I just need to have your iCloud credentials and they'll probably be nice to you. But anyways, uh, alright, so this one has, uh, like I said, this one has Flappy Bird. This one doesn't, so let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings. You want to go to iCloud. And right here, this is where you're going to enter in the iCloud uh, credentials that has, that, ha that, had, that has downloaded Flappy Bird. So I'm just going to enter my information. And when it says merge with iCloud, you just want to put do not merge and do not allow because this is not your iCloud. And you just want to go, you just want to go back and you want to go to the App Store. Once you're in the App Store, you want to go to updates. And right here where it says on top purchased, you just want to click uh, hit that. And then it's gonna uh, it's gonna be asking you to sign in to view the purchase item. So this time you want to sign in um, using your friend's um, Apple their app, Apple ID. So I'm just gonna enter my my information, and it should take a uh, like I don't know like 10 seconds to um, load the purchase items. And once the purchase item says down, uh, load it, you just want to scroll down. You're going to see a list of all the apps you downloaded using the your Apple ID account and your iCloud ac account. So it's gonna it's gonna show all the um, all the apps you downloaded. So if your friend um, if your friend had Flappy Bird, uh, you should see Flappy Bird, and you should see like a little iCloud with the download. You just want to hit that. on Flappy Bird's installing right now. So let it install. I think I I think I click on the actual on the, on the little app to go to the information and all that. I mean, you could you could go to the home screen if you don't want to wait here. It's downloading right there. And now Flappy Bird has downloaded, so I'm just gonna, if you, in case if you guys don't believe me, you just wanna open it up. And I'm gonna play a little game. Or if you're wondering why there's no sound, I'm just gonna. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is uh, PSP Slimhack showing you on how how to download uh, Flappy Bird with no software, no jailbreak, no nothing. This only works with iOS devices, iPad, iPod, and iPhone. It does not work. I'm not I'm not 100 sure if it works with uh, Android, which I which I highly doubt. But yeah, well this is PSP Slimhacks. Please comment, like the video, and subscribe for more uh, 
iPhone tutorials. Well, th again, this is PSP Slam Hacks. Bye.